I really love the residents. I really like the faculty and how, um, how like, approachable they were and how easy it was to like, ask questions and learn in that environment. I think one of my favorite things about this program, again, is the amount of time I get to spend in clinic and really just the community atmosphere and team-based atmosphere that we've, we've worked really hard to create. And so I know that if ever I have a problem that I can go to anyone and the same is true of everyone else. Our mission is to really improve the health and well-being of our community and at the same time, we're gonna train our learners to do the same thing. So we really value the educational piece of what we do in our department and what we do in our clinical space because that's really what sets us apart from all the other practices in the community. And a part of what we do at School of Community Medicine is really try to address or understand the social determinants of health. 80% of our patients' health um, is something that we can't directly impact with a prescription or even with health education. A lot of those different social determinants of health and structural determinants of health are occurring outside of our clinic spaces. In our residency, we have the innovative curriculum to plus two. We were one of the first programs in the country to have this curriculum. This is where the residents are able to be to weeks in clinic and two weeks in the other rotations. This is a great curriculum where you can grow the continuity of care with your patient, which was one of the principles of family medicine. I think the two plus two model that we have, um, the model that allows for residents to be engaged in the clinic every two weeks, um, has allowed for continuity with patients and has really promoted the development of that confidence earlier. Um, and it has also allowed our, our patients recognizing these residents as their primary care doctor much sooner. First year, uh, essentially you spend half the year in the hospital, half the year in the clinic. Um, with the 2 plus 2 system that we have, um, half the month you're in the clinic, you have your continuity patients, you're seeing them every day. Um, and then the other half is typically in a hospital setting. When we went to 2 plus 2, we kind of restructured it to be a longitudinal experience. The experience is, is broad and across the community. We really want to give our residents a sense about the different organizations within Tulsa who are working to address some of the social determinants of health. Our residents uh, do a great job on passing the boards and we have a strong focus on that as part of our educational program. We want our residents to be uh, very capable and very confident to go practice in whatever setting they want to be practicing in. Our program is designed to allow flexibility in their education, especially in their third year, to allow them to target a specific type of practice that they want, may want to be entering. I would say something that I, I feel like the program, at least where it's going, is going to become more of like a personalized experience. Um, now that we're developing tracks and we're trying to kind of design a program that fits the things that you're interested in the most. And so we really want our residents to have a broad understanding of what it means to, to be a community medicine physician um, and to um, really practice medicine and to help our patients on a broad scale. Um, we are at one of a handful of sites across the country that are introducing lifestyle medicine curriculum that will allow our residents who complete the curriculum to actually be board certified in lifestyle medicine. That's starting um, this academic year and we are very excited about that. We are the lead program uh, in our institution to introduce this curriculum with the other residencies programs to follow once we get all of it in place. The growth that I've seen through the, as a resident and now as a faculty member has been phenomenal. And that's an environment that is engaging, it's exciting to work in, it's exciting to take care of patients in. And that's part of the reason I'm still here, is I really want to be involved with what this group is doing. Um, because we know that if we all work together, we're going to be able to take care of our patients better than we could by ourselves. Obviously there's a lot that you learn during medical school and then on day one starting as a resident um, you're, you're on the job training um, and so it's really difficult. Um, but if you have that kind of um, relationship with attendings and administrators that's supportive and um, almost more as a colleague and they want to teach you and help you learn and grow then it's a lot less stressful um, and that was a big part of OU family that that I saw was really helpful. Our group in particular we love going to the baseball games um, so typically 
once a week, once every other week we try to go to the baseball games. There's a lot of different restaurants, different foods to explore. Um, I'm not from a big city, so there's a lot of things that I've never tried. We also have the Gathering Place, which is a very popular park in town. Um, they have a lot of activities there and um, it's just a nice place to go walk after work and kind of decompress from everything. Here in our clinic, we have a lot of procedures and the residents are able to participate in the procedures since the intern, intern year. The, the attendings are present uh, at the time and all the attendings are able to supervise the residents. So if you are interested to come, this is the program. If you wanted to be a family doctor and be passionate about family medicine, this is the program for you.